Hello students, welcome to EPG Part Sala. I am Anu Kumar Kapoor from Department of Anthropology, University of Delhi, Delhi. Today we are going to talk on module Demographics in Forensic Anthropology from the paper Forensic Anthropology. The objectives are, in this module we shall be focusing on the importance of most important evidence in personal identification that is demographics. The student will learn a basis of demographics in forensic anthropological setup. Demographics has direct interest and application to anthropology and continues to grow since the turn of the century. Anthropological demographics can offer important perspectives in viewing the nature and significance of human variation. Several forefronts of ongoing research are reviewed. First, methodological continues to improve definition and classification of variables. A second line of inquiry deals with heredity aspects. Inheritance models, both monogenic and polygenic, have been proposed. Single local systems seems to have limited application as in the transmission of triradial excess or deficiency listed by the missing small c tri radius. Polygenic inheritance has been demonstrated in quantitative phenotypic expressions exemplified by total finger reach count. Maternal and other environmental effects have been shown to operate on demographic expression. The word demographics come from the two Greek words, derma means skin and graphy means car and refers to the friction ridge formations which appear on the palm of the hands and soles of the feet. Demographics is the centric study of fingerprints. The term was coined by Dr. Hernald Cummins, the father of American fingerprint analysis, even though the process of fingerprint identification had already been used for several hundred years. All primates have rich pattern on their palmar and plantar surfaces for better and easy grip. Our fingers and feet have the most stripes, that is lines, human population studies using demographics began with early racial descriptions and currently utilize multivariate procedures for detecting evolutionary processes. Congruence testing between demographics and other biological distance measure is also an active endeavor in the connection. Demographics variable selection has become important in recognizing that different variables might well be useful in micro and macro evolutionary situations. The human demographics traits present variations within and between populations and could be used for estimating the genetic distances between populations. Demographics attracted a great number of scientists from all sections of biology, medicine and biological anthropology and links between demographics and disease or congenital abnorm abnormalities have also been explored. Moreover, demographics have been used extensively to characterize human variations and most studies have focused on demographics variables within and between various populations across the world or between sexes. In the later and in more recent studies, the demographic states are used for estimating the genetic distances between populations. The skin is the largest sensory organ of the body. The skin is sensitive to many kinds of stimuli such as pressure and temperature. Within the skin, there are different types of receptors that are activated by different stimuli. The finger is, in, is the receptor. It contains sensory neurons. When the receptor is activated, it triggers a series of nerve impulses. For a person to feel the stimulus, the nerve impulses must make their way into up to brain. Nerves control specific muscles 
and provide sensation to the body. The median curve carries sensory messages from the thumb and some fingers to the brain and also instruction from brain to the muscle in the hand. Also, demographics analysis has been applied to primate studies. Although this area has not kept pace with the human studies, primate work has been crucial for the important matters of taxonomic assessment and functional demographics. Fingerprints or demographics consist of patterns formed by parallel ridges on bare skin of fingerprints. They are typical for higher primates but occur sporadically in other mammals. The dermatographic patterns of dermal ridges that constitute human fingerprint are formed during early intrauterine life between the 7th and 21st week of gestation and are fully formed at about seven months of fetus development. It is unique and it will not change throughout the life of an individual. It has been reported that ridges are influenced by blood vessel nerve pairs at the border between the dermis and epidermis during perinatal development. Factors such as inadequate oxygen supply, unusual distribution of sweet grains, and alternations of epithelial growths could influence ridge patterns. The figure ridge configurations do not change throughout the life of the individuals by environment or age factors, except in events such as bruises or cuts of the fingertips. This property makes fingerprint a very attractive biometric identifier. Finger ridge counts and frequencies of all palm patterns follow the genetic modes of major genes. The distribution of interdigital patterns has been proven to follow a multi-allelic major gene mode of inheritance. However, no Mendelian modes of inheritance have been discovered for most demographic characteristics in pedigree studies because of either low inheritance or a too large sample of contributing genes. Finger 1 shows the history. In short, we may say that demographics refers to the formation of naturally occurring ridges on certain body parts, namely palms, fingers, soles, and toes, as a consequence of continuous friction which occurs in these areas. Fingerprints or demographics consist of patterns found by parallel ridges on bare skin of fingerprints. They are typical for higher primates, but occur sporadically in other primate mammals. The demographic patterns or dermal ridges that constitute human fingerprint are formed during early intrauterine life between the 7th and 21st week of gestation and are fully formed at about 7 months of fetus development. It is unique and if it will not change throughout their life of an individual. It has been reported that ridges are influenced by blood vessel nerve pairs at the border between the dermis and epidermis during perinatal development. Factors such as inadequate oxygen supply, unusual distribution of sweat glands, and alternations of epithelial growths could influence ridge patterns. The finger ridge configurations do not change throughout the life of the individual by environment or age factors except in events such as bruises or cuts of the fingertips. This property makes fingerprints a very attractive biometric identifier. Finger ridge counts and frequency of all palm patterns follow the genetic modes of major genes. The distribution of interdigital patterns has been proven to follow a multi-allelic major gene mode 
of inheritance. However, no material modes of inheritance have been discovered for most demographic characteristics in pedigrees studies because of either low inheritance or a too large number of contributing genes. Figure 1 shows the history of demographics. Demographics history Demographics has 200 years of scientific research with analyzed and proven evidence in anthropology, genetics, medicine, and statistics. In recent years, U.S., Japan, and Taiwan have applied demographics to diagnose congenital disorders, genetic abnormalities, education fields, human resource management, etc. From the early 70s, former Soviet Union scholars have been applying demographics in selecting athletes. Demographics has been a secret weapon in selecting contestant for Olympics. History of demographics. When we look at the history of demographics through this presentation, starting from 1892 till present, a lot of work has been carried out in the field of demographics. First man was Sir Francis Galton, a British anthropologist and a cousin of Charles Darwin. He published his book, Fingerprints, Establishing the Individuality and Permanence of Fingerprints. The book included class first classification system of fingerprints. And Galton is considered as first person who studied fingerprints of the human beings. Then we also see in 1976, The Score Man and Alter Demographics in Medical Disorders published significant instigation has also been carried out into the demographics indicators of congenital disease, leukemia, cancer, cervical disease, intestinal disorders, and rubella embryopathy, Alzheimer's disease, sclerophenia, as well as other forms of mental illness. Demographics research being directed into genetic research and the diagnosis of chromosomal defects. Then we see in 1994, Sarah B. Holt, he was another very leading demographics from uh, USA and he tried to study the demographics in psychiatric problems in medical and health problems, and he published more than 700 papers on demographics related with psychological problems or through different health and behavior. Also, we have not included many of the historical dimensions of uh, demographics in this chart because when we see inheritance of finger, patterns, inheritance of soul, inheritance of palmer, and other related characteristics because of paucity of time. We may say that demographics refer to the formation of naturally occurring ridges on certain body parts, namely palms, fingers, soles, and toes, as a consequence of continuous friction which occurs in these areas. These are areas where hair usually does not grow, and this area enhances contact while preventing slippage. Most demographics are correlated with genetic abnormalities and are useful in biomedical studies. They are used in the diagnosis of congenital malformations. The uniqueness of a person's fingerprint led to the analysis of one's potential personality, and preferences by analyzing demographics. This uniqueness is because of the reason that demographics is the reflection of DNA and hence does not change. Fingerprints of both the hands are not the same and they do not increase in size 
except in cases of serious injuries. Fingerprint persists lifelong unless when there is a damage to dermis. During development, various creases develop on the brain and are reflected on the fingerprints representing the various regions of brain. This article deals with the neurographic studies mainly on ridge patterns of palm and fingers and the pathologies related to it. Recording Neurographics Neurographics recording is important and prerequisite both before we start analysis and reduce inferences. It is done using simple black ink, the ink is dot on the clean glass plate and spread informally using a roller. The excessive ink, if any, is wiped by simply putting a white filter paper on the slab and gently pressing it. Alternatively, another method of inking is to apply the same ink onto the hands and feed the subject and asking them to stamp it on plain white paper. The procedure includes collecting fingerprints, palm prints and footprints. The process takes a detailed collection of all 10 fingers of hands and feet with due care while collecting of prints not getting smudged or overlapping. The recording involves following steps. First, apply ink on the palms and soles of the fit stamp on paper. Second, scan prints into a computer to analyze the patterns on the prints. Thirdly, statistical analysis of the prints in order to understand genetic sequence. For 80 angle measurement, entire palm was ink, including wrist creases and hypothermal border. Sheets of paper was placed on foam rubber pad on a flat stable surface. Pressure was applied to the back of hand to fill the concavity of palm otherwise black areas will appear in the center of the palm. Wrist of the person was placed on the bottom of paper and then the rest of the palm was pressed on the paper. Back of the hand was pressed down firmly for printing the center. These palm prints were carefully observed for ATD angle. The ATD angle formed between the lines drawn from the triradius at the base of the index and little finger to the axial triradius was measured. Axial triradius were designated as small t and t single dash or t double dash. The value of the angle of less than 45 degree corresponding of the axial triradius was designated as small t. Values intermediate to 45 degree and 56 degree as t1 and the values above 56 as t double dash. Note the ATT angle is for example known for its significance in Down syndrome, most people who have Down syndrome have an 80 degree angle more than 56 degree, that is 80 percent, when in healthy people this characteristic is far less common, that is only 7 percent, but quite a few other trisomy syndromes are featured. While the 80 degree angle is included in the neurographic multiple intelligence test known as DMIT. The mentioned studies clearly indicate that in isolation, the 80 degree angle cannot be used as a reliable marker for IQ simply because the 80 degree angle highly varies from individuals of various IQ populations. The first, the 80 degree angle in Down syndrome. Second, low 80 degree angle and autism. The third, high 80 degree angle and the trisomy syndromes. Skin ridges form distinctive recognizable pattern on the skin of the palm, just as they do on the skin of the fingers, soles, and toes. When three ridge systems converge on a point on the palm, 
the configuration is termed as tire radius. Tire radii are observed on five areas of the human palm. The four distal tire radii become classified according to the position of the exit of the proximal radians from the edge of the palm. The fifth area exhibits a tire radius that varies in its position from a site very close to the axial border of the palm to a site near the center of the palm. Cummins and Bidlow suggested that the axial tire radius be designated as T1 when it is situated close to the proximal border of the palm, T double dash when it is situated near the center of the palm, and only T means there is no single or double in its intermediate positions. The axial tire radius was thus designated as T or T dash or T double dash, depending on its proximity to the lower margin of the palm or zero if it is absent altogether or question mark if it is presence is questionable. This system leaves a lot to be distorted and has long been considered unsatisfactory since the evaluation of these tiredities depends entirely on the individual instigator's choice as to exactly at which level should a tiredities be considered T or T dash or T double dash. Of all the features of the palm, the evaluation of these tiredities is most liable to personal error and to the differently attributed to various categories by different investigators and hence the least likely to give satisfactorily accurate series of data for comparison of worldwide samples. Forensic analysis involves assessing a print to determine if it can be used for a comparison. If the print is not suitable for comparison, because of the inadequate quality or quantity of features, the examination ends and the print is reported as not suitable. If the print is suitable, the analysis indicates the features to be used in the comparison and their tolerance, that is the amount of variation that will be accepted. The analysis may also uncover physical features such as recurves, deltas, creases, and scars that help indicate where to begin the comparison. The expert needs to look for the respective placing of these ridge characteristics on both crime scene as well as suspects' fingerprints for matching. This, of course, is done once the pattern analyzed to be same like both prints showing whorl patterns or arch or loop, etc. Experts who study demographics believe that fingerprints were marks of embryonic nerves which may reflect one's genetic potential. If we understand our own qualities and nurture coding, it will tremendously help in terms of career development, managing emotions, increased concentration, improved interpersonal skills. Demographics is like a map that leads one to understand his own potential and talents. Everyone inherited innate intelligence from their parents, and their genetic parents have the same innate intelligence from their parents. If one is intelligence gets into opportunity to be inspired and further develop, there is no way for one to develop a full range of intelligence and memory, understanding, reasoning, Analysis, integration, and application. Stop. Analysis and uses. Demographics is the analysis of fingerprints, palm prints, and footprints. Everyone has his or her unique prints. Therefore, it can be used in criminal forensic analysis to prove identity. Demographics evidence left behind by a suspect or a victim may identify who was at crime scene, what he or she does. However, it is important for defense attorneys to know and 
to inform the jury. They are the techniques used to locate and identify fingerprints are from a perfect science. An understanding of how fingerprints are located and lifted can help attorneys recognize if a flawed analysis was performed by investigators or lab technicians. Further, knowledge of the various fingerprint collection techniques is essential to successful cross-examination of crime scene technicians and fingerprint examiners. Locating a fingerprint often requires a vigilant and calculative search. Many scientists believe that amphotrophic is the DNA genes in the human body that reflected in appearance. Although everyone has different prints, but certain patterns can be found in our prints. The distribution of prints is considered to represent brain cells proportion and distribution in each of the brain lobes. Human prints can be categorized as one of the three main types, which are world shape, R shape, and loop shaped. It is subdivided into 11 basic types from which many types of analysis have been derived. Arch into plain arches and tented arch, whirl into true whirl and central pocket whirl, loops into radial and under loops, twin double loop or later pocket double loop and accidental loops. Here I would like to say that pronunciation of these patterns are very important. When we say W-H-O-R-L-S, the spelling of it is pronounced as a whirl. I have seen that in some of the universities, the students pronounce in different words, but it should be pronounced as whirl, right? When we look at these three patterns, the first is arch pattern, that is where there is no tire radius. Whereas when we see at the loop pattern, you can see on the left side of the loop, there is a forming a tire radius, that one tire radius is present, that is the characteristics of the loop. When we see the wall pattern, there are two tire radius on the right and the left side, that makes this pattern as a wall. Dermatographic analysis is an integration of brain science, medicine, genetics, psychology, and behavioral science. Through nearly five centuries of observation and study of genetic medicine, amount and distribution of neurons is reflected in regular patterns on our fingerprints. According to European and American experts, they found that fingerprints show different kinds of characteristics, even with the monozygotic that is identical twins, their fingerprints are different. At the same time, the same fingerprints will appear again after healing of wounds as long as the injury has not affected the cells. Medical experts with observation, recording, comparison, induction, and other methods, and clinical experiences confirm that fingerprints provide accurate analysis of a person's multiple intelligences and potential. Lamatographic analysis is based on the formation and the amount of ridges on the fingerprints. Lamatographic analysis tells us one style of learning and thinking. Everyone has his or her unique fingerprints. The brain pattern grows simultaneously with the fingerprints. Each finger represents different abilities and each pattern had its own definition. Statistics show that the accuracy rate of dermatographic analysis can be up to 85%. By analyzing dermatographic, we can accurately understand the distribution and amount of cells in the left and right brain of the cell and predict where the potential lies. Although everyone is bored with strength and weakness, if they are identified early, we may further develop and strengthen and improve our weakness so that left and right brain may grow in a more balanced and blend way. Dermatographic analysis may help. Dermatographic analysis may help in terms of personal growth. 
strengthen interpersonal communication and interaction skills, improve relations between the sexes, enhance ego and value of life and happiness. In terms of education, multiple intelligence assessment for children, parent-child communication and education, target at talents, personalized education, define the most appropriate way of teaching and learning. For enterprises, recruitment, assessment of job, competency and execution style, plan education and training, explore the potential of employee, leadership, interpersonal communication and interaction. Now let's uh, summarize this module where you have learned about the various demographic pattern studies. These patterns are unique and are heavily linked with one's genetic composition and are closely related to our nervous system. In other words, demographics can reveal our intrinsic qualities and talents. The rich formations of the skin of an individual appear during the third and fourth month of fatal development. Fingerprints remain unchanged during a lifetime of an individual. The current state of medical demographics in such that the diagnosis of some illness can now be done on the basis of demographics analysis alone and currently several demographics researches claim a very high degree of accuracy in their prognostic ability from the hands of features. Demographics are still useful for the evaluation of children and suspected genetic disorders and diseases with long latency, slow progression, etc. Here, we learned forensic science is based on the fundamental principles of comparison and individualization, and the fingerprints are the most important of all evidences that tend to be searched for a crime scene, evaluated and compared with suspects prints. The demographics in forensic anthropology not only deals with the basic pattern types and rich counts to nab criminals or convicts, but also deals with an integration of brain science, medicine, genetics, psychology, and behavioral science. Thank you.